Sammy says, please share some tips to rank ChatGPT app without using <laughs> ChatGPT because you know his app got because app got suspended on ChatGPT keyword. I think they're allowing you to use it now, but like yeah. You can't use ChatGPT in your name, I'm pretty sure. And you can't use ChatGPT as a single word. So it has to be two separate words. I get this question far more than anyone would believe. There are so many ChatGPT apps. I looked at it a few months ago before the official ChatGPT app came out. And it was crazy. It was like 400 a week or something. Yeah, so I totally get why Apple would try to be a little bit more strict. And I talked to a bunch of people who made ChatGPT apps about their struggles. And some people who know people at Apple also struggle to get their app approved. The mm. only trick that I have in my arsenal for this is split the keyword up. So chat is not a registered trademark gpt is becoming a registered trademark but i think you can still use it so just use it in your keyword list very in the beginning of your keyword list chat comma gpt and in mm -hmm. most cases that would work i've seen instances of chat and gpt in the subtitle and that worked it depends on you know when do you want this app to go out do you want to fight with apple for a little bit potentially or do you want to get maybe you'll get lucky or do you just want to have it and kind of be safe so we have a case study on this we been able to I just talk to the client yesterday. It was a chat GPT app and we're making about $5,000 a month purely off of ASO. And oh, wow. really talk to what we talked about earlier, finding a more niche keyword beyond just chat GPT. Look, yeah. you're not going to beat these guys, mm -hmm. you know, Full disclosure, we're working with one of them. Okay. And I won't <laughs> tell you who, but like, you're not going to beat these guys. So you're going to have to go into, you know, what I just did with the, keyword inspector and then competitor keywords. It's a great tool. And then just find the ones that are a little bit lower competition right here. So like you're starting to find some, right? That's how I like to break it down is really trying to find, yeah. and we can just do this and Ariel and app figures makes it really easy for us to just be like, okay, give me medium competitiveness, medium popularity. And now mm -hmm. we can just start looking through. So ghostwriter, novel writing, you know what I mean? Yeah. These become interesting keywords, script writing, because these big guys, as you can see, are not paying attention to them. So that's mm -hmm. how you start approaching these type of keywords and these ASO for ChatGPT apps. I think you hit the nail right on the head. It's ChatGPT is so cool. It's so amazing. It's so mind blowing. If if you're into that sort of thing, and I've been using it from day one, I use it a ton every single day. I don't use ChatGPT. I get something out of ChatGPT. I use it as a tool. It's like a pen. I use it for writing. I don't actually use it for writing because I don't think it's creative enough but it's kind of like a tool in that sense where the tool gives you something. So if you think about keywords, think about what your tool can give you. Do you need movie suggestions? Do you need a recipe? Do you need something else? And then cater to it. Now, there's a trick for app store optimization that will allow you to optimize for a lot of different keywords, more than the 160, 30 for the name, 30 for the subtitle, and 100 for the keyword list for Apple, multiplied by 10. Do you know what you know what I'm talking about, Steve? What what I like to do, especially with something like this, is if I was doing a ChatGPT app, I would optimize for all the AI ChatGPT, the normal stuff, the kind of the boring stuff at this point. That's very difficult to optimize for as the main, maybe the main way of uh, for the main localization. And then I'm going to use other localizations. There are nine other localizations that Apple looks at when it comes to keywords in the U.S. And I'm going to use those for very specific verticals. So maybe one I'll devote to food. Maybe it's going to be food recipes and finding food recipes and researching food and dinner ideas and stuff like that. And then I'm going to take the same idea and I'm going to duplicate it into the next language on my list. There are nine. I think Russian is on it. French is on it. A whole bunch. I'm going to do one for movie suggestions and I'm going to do one for writing and I'm going to do one for all of those different things that you can get out of ChatGPT. And that's how I would approach it. So you're probably not going to get number one for ChatGPT, but if you can get top five or 50 other keywords or 30 other keywords that have some, some popularity, boom, you're in business. You don't even have to compete with the people who spend enough money on Apple search ads. And I've looked at those too. They spend a lot of money on Apple search ads. Yeah, here's what I just did to Sammy was look at ChatGPT, look at the popular, sort by pop, most popular. And then what you can also do is you can filter off the competitiveness. So this mm -hmm. is a really great tool to just really find new keywords. And now you can see like, if do the big guys have yeah. it, are they ranking for it? They're so they're, if they're not, they're not paying attention to it. So like room GPT, yeah. I have no idea what that app yeah. is, but like, all right, you know, yeah. I don't know what that is, but this gets me get down the road. Script exactly. writing, right? I saw yeah, a song exactly. one with songwriting, mm -hmm. AI songwriter. So there you go, starting the niche.